So, how's everybody doing today? Doing the uh, Super XL 130. And today I'm just porting. Uh, not much to it, just doing a bit of grinding. And uh, I don't know, I might chop a bunch of it out and put in some of the assembly in there. But for now, I just know that I'm gonna put grinding on this video. I'll probably do some other stuff though. But today we're gonna grind it and start on the assembly. So, alrighty, let's get on with it. Well, boys, I'm almost done reassembling. Uh, I'm just playing around with the cylinder right now, making sure she's good and lubed. I, uh, I'm out of two-stroke oil here, so I used motor oil. <laughs> I have uh, I have two-stroke oil in the truck, but I didn't feel like going out, so I just poured motor oil in the cylinder. I got a lot of it in there, too. whole lot that's all right right everything's together for the most part we got to bar it up yet and uh, that's about it muffler's just this side spark plug muffler and bar we're almost done oh and handlebar 
So yeah, we're right at the end. The uh, coil, where the coil bolts onto the cylinder, one of the bolts was stripped out. Didn't realize that until it was pretty much all back together. That would have been easier to fix while it was apart, you know? I'm gonna put the 28 on her, 28 inch bar. Thing's got stupid crazy compression. I'm not trying to start it, I'm just pulling it. Well, let's see if it puts. I mean it's all I had to do is switch it on. Let's see if it pots. Hey. Hey, we got a pot, you know? She's got some compression to it. But we got a pot. All I got left to do now is bar it up. Take it out and test it. We should be good though. Ready to keep rolling with this one. Bar sitting right here. Just gotta throw it on quick. Might as well just do that now. Since y'all are here, right? Gonna throw the 28 inch archer on it. She stands up until I put the chain on. So if this bar was just a little bit lighter, it would stand up with a 28 inch bar. You know? But she stands up fine until I put the chain on. And you know, the chain doesn't weigh that much. Just think about that. If I had a, a lighter weight, 28 inch bar, you know? I mean, watch what happens here as soon as I get the chain on. So we'll go down. See? Now she goes down. That's all it takes is the chain. So there we go, we're completely reassembled, ready to go, 28 inch bar, uh, two days I spent doing this project just in case you're wondering, two days, make sure you say thanks to Mitch, he's the one who provided the cylinder, uh, and the, the spikes you see on this, the felling spikes, he's the one who made those, uh, just send them to me, you know. That was pretty cool of him. Make sure you say thanks. Might have this chain a little tight. Eh, maybe not, we'll see here. Nah, I think we're fine. It's a little on the snug side, but it'll be fine. But yeah, say thanks to Mitch for sending that stuff. Looks like he made those felling spikes. I was just thinking if they were a little longer, they would hit the ground and probably keep the nose of the bar up in the air. But uh, we're ready to roll again. This has been a fun project. This is, what, third or fourth time I pulled the engine apart? Um... We might do one more. We'll see how it runs. See if I like it where it is. Uh, there's a chance that this is where it's staying. Just depends on how it runs.
you know we won't know until we get out there test it but that's it for today now we gotta wait for some testing uh I got a lot of saws to test. A lot of them lined up for testing. I got a lot of projects finishing all at the same time, you know? So, it is what it is. Uh, you've already seen we're bringing in the uh, 923 and the pull and build. Uh, we're also going to finish this XL12. Um, there's a couple other things I haven't decided on yet. I think we're going to do the XL2. Get it finished. And then, I don't know. We'll see. There's, uh, my XL700 needs fixed. It's simple. Well, I had to steal the carburetor out of it for this saw. So, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I got a bunch of carbs. I don't know if I got any big enough, though. Got a zip over there. I got a carb kit sitting here for the zip. Got that super easy beside me, or behind me there. I got a 1010 I want to do up. Probably poured, poured it pretty good. Um, but... I don't know where we're going to go. The 923 and the pull-in now. I think the 923 is next. The next port job. I think it's going to be the next one. But heck, it's probably going to be ported by the time you even see this video. Just think about that. Um, yeah, by the time... I'm recording this video now, but it's going to be a month until you see it. Just to give you an idea how things are timing out. Otherwise, I'd be posting a video every day. Uh, I just take like 10 minute clips of different steps and put a video up, you know. Sometimes I do a whole lot, but you know, it is what it is. So many projects, so many projects. I'm waiting for a saw to show up in the mail. It'll be a poor job. I don't know when it's coming. And then, oh, I got my three, the 372, or 371, the Husqvarna 371. It's sitting here in a pile of pieces. We haven't, you, you haven't even seen the first video of that. I don't know. You might see, you might start seeing the uh, first video by the time this comes out, by the time this one's done. So, boy, so many projects. But uh, till the next time, guys. Catch you later. Right.